everyone and welcome to my channel. In this video we will be painting a beautiful serene landscape in pastel watercolors and first we're starting off with our sketch. As you can see I'm dividing my paper into three parts and making two horizontal lines. One is on the upper third and the other one is on the lower third. One will be my horizon line, skyline, and the other one will be my guide to where my grass is going to be. Next thing I'm sketching is a little boat that will float on my water and I'm sketching it in a shape of a square with edges facing up and down, right and left. I want that boat to be as simple as possible because the entire painting is going to be simplistic and minimalistic. When I am finished with my sketch, I am privetting the entire paper, trying to make it evenly and without any puddles. For the sky and the water I will be using Azure and Cadmium Yellow Medium. And the first thing I'm starting off with the Azure and I painted in the upper part of my sky and the lower part of my water. Next thing I'm doing is with Cadmium Yellow Medium I am starting off from the horizon line upwards into my blues. That is actually the trick to avoid getting green color in your sky and if you start on the opposite side then the colors won't mix, you won't have so much pigment in your brush when you get to your blues. So in that way you will avoid mixing in the green onto your paper. I also added a little bit of cadmium yellow medium from horizon line downwards into my water and I left some parts of the water white for the strongest highlights. With a tissue paper I picked up some paint for the clouds. I've actually made a tutorial on how to paint four different skies for beginners, so if you want to see how to paint or learn how to paint a couple of easy skies, check out my tutorial. I will put the link down in the description below and also right now there is a card, you can click and watch that tutorial. It is a step-by-step real-time video and I try to make it as simple as possible. Now back to this painting. After the paint completely dried, I privetted the paper again and then with a jour and a round brush I painted the water and again a little bit darker on the lowest part of the water and going upwards I was, my strokes were getting thinner and thinner and I made them just here and there, again leaving that white space for highlights. After the paint from the previous layer completely dried on slightly privetted paper, I am now adding some cadmium yellow medium, very light wash of cadmium yellow medium into my water, mostly there where I left my white space. I'm also emphasizing the horizon line with Azure, just to make a stronger distinction between the sky and the water. If you're not sure, about making the straight horizon line, you can use a tape and tape it to your paper horizontally just above your horizon line and that will make it easier for you to make that line straight. After this layer dried, I'm moving on to painting my boat and for that I'm using a small detail brush and raw sienna and painting almost the entire boat, front side of the boat and with a little bit of sepia I am just making some shadows in the lower part of the front of my boat and also back of it. I'm not trying to get a perfect shape because when this layer dries we're gonna do more details on the boat. Next thing I'm doing is painting some grass with raw sienna and later on green and sepia. And while doing that I'm trying to paint the lines as if the grass is going out of the water and simultaneously as if it is reflection in the water. But you know, you don't have to bother yourself with that, it doesn't have to be perfect. When we finish our painting and add some details in the water, it will look just fine. 
Now I've mixed a Mother Lake Red Light and Azure and with the tip of my dagger brush I'm tapping in the flowers, just making an impression of flowers, not really painting every single flower or, or petal. And I'm also twisting my brush around to get the different impressions and going back and forward with a little bit darker paint and different mixtures of the same paint to get some shadows and highlights. Now I'm painting some greenery using mix of cadmium yellow medium and green and also only green for some shadows and darker parts. As mentioned earlier, I'm painting some details to the sea and making those horizontal lines that will make an impression of a grass going into the water and making distinction between the grass and the reflection of it. I'm also painting the details to the boat and I'm using sepia and a smaller detail brush. I started to paint the reflection of the boat in the water, but unfortunately my camera stopped. So it skipped that part, but as you can see, I've just with the mix of sepia and raw sienna painted the reflection in the shape of my boat. With a script brush, now I'm adding some texture and details to the water and afterwards I'm splashing some paint to my flowers to make it even a little bit more interesting. And afterwards adding some details throughout my painting. After taking off my washi tape, I realized my horizon line is too light and doesn't really make that much distinction between my sky and water, so I decided to add a little bit more azure, a little bit more pigment to it. So with that, I'll be finishing off this painting and also this video. Thank you guys a lot for watching, for all your support. If you like this video, please like, share, comment, and if you haven't still, please subscribe to my channel. And I hope I'll see you next time. Bye!